So this is a solar street light. It is a 500 watt light that is IP65 waterproof rated. And this thing is supposed to put out a lot of light. So I'm very excited to see how well this works. So we're going to show you what's in the box and then we'll do a quick demo to see how it works. So first you got the instructions. Make sure you take a look at it because it'll show you really how to set it up. And then you get a remote, which I think is actually really cool because I have a lot of solar lights and the one battle that I always have is the fact that I'm always struggling with, they're never on long enough. So it's this constant on off, on off when I have to do something in the backyard that I need more than like, I don't know, five minutes. So with the remote, you have the on, you have uh, for brightness to turn it up or down, you have auto, so it'll turn on when it's dark, it'll turn off when it's light, and then you can set a timer for three hours, eight hours, or five hours. Any button that's not mentioned, like the M, the plus, the minus, the red, the, um, those are useless. It says in the instructions, so I was like, Okay, um, so they, I guess they maybe use for, they use one remote for a lot of different models that have different functions. But those are all the buttons you're really gonna use. And then there's, it takes uh, two AAA batteries, which they do provide. Now you get some screw mounting hardware. They give you an Allen wrench, um, screws, and then if you want to actually uh, drill it into the wall and a little wrench. And then here is the actual light. It's not very heavy, but it's very heavy duty. It feels very sturdy. Now you have six um, panels with little LEDs and you see the IP65 rating. Um, this is where the power is and where you're actually gonna slide the pole into that it's gonna hang off of. So it'll hang like this um, overhead. And then here is the pole that you actually put the light onto and then how it works is you just put this around a pole, a tree, um, whatever you need to, and it'll grip around that. Now the other pieces are this. So this part, you put this on top, and this is, and you put this piece on top of here, and on top of this piece, the uh, solar panel will go. And then, so you can see how it all fits together once you put all the screws in. And then I'll show you the solar panel in just a moment. But that's how all that goes together. And then if you take this out, put this to the side, then you have the solar panel. So here's the plug for the power that I showed you earlier. And then here's the actual panel. It's actually pretty hefty. So just to give you an idea how large this is, based off of this, this is about 24 inches. So it's a little less than 24 inches. So that's about it. Let's uh, test her out. So this is a picture of what the solar light looks like during the day because it's hard to see it at night. The solar panel at the top, you can pretty much twist it how you want in order to maximize the sun. And then you can see I had to drill it into the tree because there wasn't a pole nearby that I could set it on. So this was my next best solution. So here it is. Now let's see how bright it is at night. So this is how bright the light is at night. It lit up my backyard very well, so I'm very pleased with that. The only con that I say I have is with the remote. Now, I was hoping to use this remote inside my house to be able to turn the light on and off, but you have to be fairly close to the light, depending on how you, how you have it. I had to be very close to it, almost under it, in order to turn it on and off, so you don't get a lot of distance with it. But besides that, I'm very happy that it has a remote because I don't need it on 24-7, or I guess you could say all night. So. I only need it when I'm outside for long periods of time and I want to light up the backyard. So for that, this serves the purpose wonderfully. So I hope this helps. Take care.